Hey, Kayla here, founder of Ivy Mix, helping you save time in your visual marketing and online growth. And welcome to this resource video where I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily add your product to a stock photo. So whether your product is a printable that you haven't actually printed yet, maybe it's just a digital product, I'm going to show you in this video how you can put it on a stock photo and make it look like it's there. So this is going to happen as a screen share. I'm going to share my screen. So let's get started. All right, so to get started, I would use something like PicMonkey. You can do this same stuff using Photoshop, but PicMonkey is very accessible, so I'm going to do this tutorial using PicMonkey. So when you are about to create a new thing, you're going to click here on Create New and grab a photo or a stock photo from your computer. So I went ahead and grabbed this stock photo here. Now let's say you're mocking up a paper digital product, whether it's an ebook, a printable, or what have you. Maybe it's an invitation. Um, I've got an example for an invitation, but it could literally be anything. So once you're in PicMonkey and you have your image, go over to graphics and click add your own. And from your computer, you're going to grab the uh, photo copy or the PNG file or the JPEG file of your printable. So it's just a photo of your printable. So I've got this one right here that I downloaded and it added it right on top of my photo. So I'm first I'm going to scale it to the right size. Now let's say this is a smaller invitation. If it were bigger, I would want to pay more attention to making it bigger in relation to the items around, but um, I'm going to make it a smaller invitation. I'm going to sort of center it in this open space here. Then to make it look really realistic, you come over here to this little pop-up and you click on blend mode and go ahead and click multiply. So that makes it match the lighting of the photo. So that's the first thing you do. Then the second thing is to add a drop shadow. So click on add a drop shadow, then you want to change the angle. You want to match the angle of these shadows. So to change the angle, all you do is slide this. Now right now it's not showing up because the shadow is not very big. So increase the distance quite a bit. Make it really kind of realistic and then change the angle. We want it to match the angle of the other shadows, so that seems about right. Every shadow is about going uh, from the right to the left, sort of to the top corner. Now, it, this shadow is too dark, so in order to um, make it less dark, we slide the fade, and you can make it fuzzier too. You can make it a little fuzzier like the rest of these shadows by um, sliding these things just a bit. There. So that gives your paper um, a little more dimension by adding the shadow. And when you're done, just go ahead and, and there you have it. Now it looks like it's part of the photo. Okay, so there you have it. Now the same process applies if you have a physical product. You just insert under graphics, you just insert a um, an image of your product and you can put it right onto the photo and then by clicking on the photo and clicking effects and drop shadow, you can add a shadow to your product to match the stock photo. So it pretty much works the same. Now if you ever need to take a product photo and have it cut out so that you can place it on a stock photo, I recommend going to Fiverr and there are lots of um, inexpensive but very helpful people who will take your product photo and cut out your product um, from your image so that you can place it on any stock photo. That's really the best solution if you aren't familiar with cutting out your own objects using something like Photoshop. Um, of course, 
the um, the graphic tools do have an erase so if you needed to um, insert a product and erase parts of the image that you just inserted you can see that it it drops the shadow behind whatever is showing so if you erase parts of the image the shadow still remains so if you placed a photo of your product and just wanted to come in and erase the background um, you could do that here on PicMonkey as well um, but the best solution is to just have a clean cut product to insert and so if you ever need um, a background removed from your product photo, you just come to fiverr.com and type in background removal and you'll get a bunch of different solutions um, for you starting at $5. So once you get your product photo cut out, it's easier to then just go ahead and use it on as many stock photos as you want. And then you have a styled scene of your actual physical product. So there you have it. I hope this video was helpful and let me know in the comments uh, if you would like more videos like this, what questions you might have, and we'll see you in the next video.